I'm Jerron Herman. Um, I'm an artist based here in New York City. I usually make dance-based works um, that center disability aesthetics and blackness, masculinity. The feeling of adornment and discovery, asymmetry, <laughs> a lot of different topics. Um, and I'm here at the invitation of the Cooper Hewitt Design Museum to respond to Ez Devlin's An Atlas of Ez Devlin. A lot of things inspire my creative practice. Language um, inspires my creative practice to begin with. It starts with a word usually, um, or a term that we've maybe known about, but not in inquired about or thought more deeply about. Growing up as a disabled kid, I was always given words um, about myself um, because of my diagnosis. And so when I became an artist, I thought how novel would it be to go back to the words that were imprinted on me and figure them out for myself uh, and to glean new avenues from them. So hemiplegia cerebral palsy, which is the diagnosis I was given uh, for my disability, uh, transforms into you know hemispheres and axes and land demarcation, boundaries, uh, migration patterns. <laughs> the implications begin to s spin out and that's where my work really starts to generate and, and become really resonant for me. Um, situations like this where I'm responding to folks has been enlivening and generated the same kind of conversation I've been having with myself or with environment, um, but it's with another person and then that's become uh, the hallmark of collaboration for me. The figure, dressed in a white, creamy, draped unit, nears the edges of the encasement, outstretched. His back, falling behind his haunches in a deep curve, He recoils, straight, looking into nether worlds, deciding, dizzying swirls aright him in his chambers, first left, then right, his left arm stays close, causing deep sinuous lines across the garment, they are wrapped in themselves, causing another swirl of cosmic reality, many worlds enwrapped in themselves, straining against the white void of a pure cloth. He embraces the left hand, turning it behind him in other drastic turns. It's his compass, sending waves to his back as he turns from you toward the nadir of the encasement. Collaboration is like the spirit of my art making. Um, I, when I became a soloist, per se, uh, in the dance world, I was really critical of the word soloist, and I wanted to think of myself as um, solo, but not siloed. And so I wanted to flank myself around other creatives uh, that would add to the conversation, would adorn the concepts. And that comes from complementary disciplines like design, like costume, uh, sound, um, video, film, media, and they've become like lattices, you know, we've become latticed in our expression uh, that make the concept really uh, feel embodied. Um, as Robert Semper, who's a Semper, who's a, a theorist, talks about enfleshing. So we're making, we're imbuing kind of 
these skeletons with the muscle and the, the sinew and the, the life-giving elements um, to walk about and move. Um, I'm really, you know, spurred on by curiosity and curiosity of, of how to match with people, how to vibe with people. Um, and at this moment, it's just through intuition and availability. And I think that, you know, this ex exhibition too, it being site-specific and ephemeral, is all about who in the, the kaleidoscope of time would be here at the moment that they could be, you know, everything is, is so contextual and necessary and whoever's here is here, you know, and that's the same with all of my works, like whoever is available is available. All my dance works have 10% of chaos because I'm I, my own body responds day of. Being in, this, in a disabled body is to be in flux. And so I cannot ask it to be rigid in any particular way. And so now going outside of that, con the context of environment, if this is a body, this is society is a way of living, just like on our own bodies, then how I have to transfer and extend that grace and that, that theory to the environment as well. And so my, how I think about my own body starts to really expand with others um, and with other spaces. And um, yeah, we let it ride. <laughs> we figure out, yeah.